Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video all about a certain piercing that I decided to remove. And for those of you who don't know what piercing I am talking about, I am talking about my lip piercing or my Monroe piercing. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's basically just a lip piercing that goes on the left side of your face and the right side I think is called the Madonna. So I had my Monroe piercing done three years ago back in February of 2013 and I'm basically going to be talking about uh, why I decided to remove it because a lot of you have noticed in my previous videos that I no longer have the piercing anymore and a lot of you have been asking a ton of questions as to why I decided to remove it, um, when did I remove it, just things like that. So I do have a video of me actually getting it pierced on my channel if you are interested. That video is still up and you know, so you can view it if you are interested. But uh, I recently made the decision a couple weeks ago to take it out permanently. My Monroe piercing was kind of my first like big piercing that I decided to get. It was my first like major facial piercing besides my nose, uh, my nose piercing because I've always just had my one nose piercing. I do have two, but I've always just had this one and I've really, really wanted to get like another really dramatic facial piercing and I decided to go with the Monroe piercing, which of course is just a lip piercing and I really I was really kind of like scared to do it and really apprehensive but I really really liked the look of them and you know I did like a ton of like research on it and I thought they looked really cute so I decided to get it one day and I pretty much fell in love with it like I loved that piercing so much when I first got it it was a little weird seeing my face like that because I'm not used to like seeing you know like a facial piercing there and so yeah I got it I loved it it was great it was a good time healing was really really easy I have tons of videos on my Monroe piercing on my channel for those of you who are interested in viewing those videos I have an entire playlist on that and um, in my most recent video in my future tattoos and piercings for 2016 I talked about how I was eventually going to be taking that piercing out well I kind of made that decision a lot quicker than I thought I thought I was gonna have it for at least a couple more months but uh, it, probably about two weeks ago now, I took it out permanently. I took out my Bioplast bar, I took out the jewel, I took everything out, and I just decided to let it close. And I have several reasons for that. Uh, one of the reasons being is gum recession was one of the big ones is, you know, oral piercings over time, they do cause a lot of wear and tear on, you know, your teeth, your gum line, the enamel of your teeth, just the overall well-being of your teeth, they do cause a lot of damage. And I was starting to notice that this tooth over here, which is uh, this one right next to my big tooth, um, I was noticing that it was starting to recede up a lot quicker than this one. Uh, you can definitely see a difference. And it was really starting to get to me. And the last like teeth cleaning that I had, you know, I had him look at it and he said, you know, it's really nothing too bad. Like your teeth are in still pretty good condition. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about it right now. So I was like, okay, cool. Um, but you know, just as of recently, it's just been really kind of getting to me and the gum recession was just getting a little bit out of hand. And I've always worn Bioplast. I think the first year and a half I did have this piercing, I did wear a metal bar in it, but um, for the most part, I did wear Bioplast jewelry for most of the lifespan of this piercing. And Bioplast is a better alternative to metal because it's not as harsh as metal and it won't cause as much damage as quickly. Another reason why I kind of wanted to take it out is I just don't think it fit my face well anymore and I really liked that piercing and I really really liked the way it looked but for some reason I just wasn't very happy with my face when I had it in. Uh, just as of like recently after like the past like three months now I just I just didn't really like it. I felt like it made my face look a little too crowded for my liking and I just thought it was just time to go. So that's just why I just decided to take it out. It wasn't like a planned thing. I just came home from work one night and you know what? I was like, you know what? I'm just, I'm done with this piercing and I just took the bar out, threw it away and just let it close. And it's something that was very, very hard for me because I'm someone who's very, very attached to my piercings. I've had them for so long. I feel like my piercings are a great 
reason of why I am who I am. Like, my piercings are, they're like my babies, you know? Like, its it was very, very hard, but I just figured, you know, do it like a Band-Aid, quick and easy, just take it out, throw it away, and pretend like it never happened. Um, and my piercings close very, very, very fast. Because I know a lot of people are going to ask, you know, oh, is your piercing still open? Can you still put jewelry in it? And the answer to that is no. It is officially and totally closed. I took it out uh, probably around two weeks ago now, and I recently, a couple days ago, tried to put jewelry in it just to see if it was still open, and it's definitely closed over and healed. A lot of people are different. Some people, their piercings close a lot quicker than others. Mine, for instance, um, they close very, very quickly, like super, super quick, like scary quick. It closed up within a matter of three days completely. The inside of my lip, you would never know there was a piercing there. It is completely closed over, and it just looks like a regular you know, it just looks like a regular lip, like there's no like, you know, redness or skin damage or anything like that on the inside of my lip. Everything looks really, really good. As far as the outside, um, I don't know if you can see it from this far away, but I do still have a hole where the piercing used to be. It's just like every other lip piercing. That hole will probably always be there. There will always be a sign that I used to have a piercing there. That's just the thing that you kind of have to come to accept with with lip piercings. And when I got the piercing, I always knew that was going to be a thing. I always knew there was going to be a little hole on the outside, so it didn't bother me too much. Another question I'm going to get is, did you clean it at all when you took out the piercing? And the answer is no. Um, I've had it, like I said, I've had it pierced for three years now. It was very, it's been healed for a very long time. Um, I basically just took it out, threw it away, and just let it close. I didn't have to clean it or anything. If you are someone who like just got it done and decided you didn't like it and took it out, I would recommend cleaning it while it's healing over, just you know, just to be on the safe side so you don't get like an infection or anything. Okay, so I zoomed you in up onto my lip to show you the little tiny hole. So there is where my Monroe piercing used to be, as you can see, the hole is very prominent on my face. Does it bother me? No, not really. It's not it's not like a big deal to me. A lot of people get very upset when they notice that they have this there, but I mean that's kind of their own fault because you should have known that it was going to cause scarring. Uh, but yeah, that's basically what I'm left with. And when I go like that, you can pretty much see that it's closed up. Like you can see it's definitely not like a hollow all the way through hole anymore like it used to be. It's definitely healed over. So yeah, that's basically the deal with my Monroe piercing is that it is completely and totally permanently out. I know I've uploaded a couple of videos already and a lot of you have noticed, a lot of you were like, oh my god, you took your Monroe piercing out. Um, a couple questions I'm going to get. The one big one I'm going to answer in this video is, will you ever get another lip piercing? Will you ever get your Monroe piercing back? Will you ever get the other side done? Um, the answer as of like right now is probably not. Uh, I don't have the desire to get like a lip piercing or snake bites or the other side done, not at all. I don't really just, I don't know, I just not really that big of a fan of lip piercings, like the ones down here I'm just not that keen on. Uh, I really only liked the Monroe piercing now that I've officially taken it out. I'm not that I'm not that set on ever getting another one again. I just don't see it happening for me, but you know, if it does happen in the future, then it happens. I also wanted to make this video um, because I wanted to let you guys know if you have any questions for me about taking out my piercing or anything like that, you can go ahead and leave them down in the comments and I will try my best to get back to you as quick as I can. But that's really all I have for this video. I am back down to 18 piercings now because that all together I had 19 and now that I took that one out back down to 18 so yeah uh, that is basically everything that I have for this video I really hope you guys found it helpful and I hope it cleared up a few things if you guys enjoyed it please give a huge thumbs up I would greatly appreciate it and if you are new to my channel don't forget to go down and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos but until then rest in peace Monroe piercing and I will see you guys very soon in my next video I love you guys Bye.